barbershop conversation, guys, feel free to hit the subscribe button. So I just uh, got on and I, I heard Ticket, uh, uh, Black Fight Fan, Cali Enigma, and, and a bunch of other guys talking about this subject. Ishe Smith, basically, I'm going to read, well, you guys see it in, in the thumbnail. But this is two prong, and I, I, I genuinely believe we need to, to separate the two so we can get a clear and concise message. Ishe Smith, I just hit you in your DM. I don't have your number. I thought I had your phone number, but I don't have your phone number. So if you want, email me, fhaw17 at gmail. If anyone can get a hold of Ishe Smith for me, feel free. Uh, I've, in, I've interviewed him a couple of times. But uh, one argument is Ishe Smith has lost a couple of fights recently. And I believe both of them were split decision loss. I think Julian J-Rock was a split decision or a controversial decision. I am uncertain of that. But I know he just lost to Harrison, which was a... Uh, uh, which was um, a split decision loss. So he's right there on the cusp. And I know he's he's gotten some he's gotten some loss. I think he has between eight and ten losses, seven and ten losses. I'm 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 uncertain of that. So from that postulate, you one would argue he's not proven himself to be a legitimate fighter that that warrants constant PR, um, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Whereas on the other hand, if Ishe Smith is talking about Floyd being a man and honoring his word, that's completely different. Whether Ishe Smith wins or whether Ishe Smith loses, a man must honor his word. And I'm uncertain of that. I, I don't know what the details of it is, right? So, but I will say this. Tank Davis has spoken up. Um, Ishe Smith has spoken up. Uh, I, Jose, I forget the other guy that... He, Floyd posted a video of him sparring, uh, and I think Latondra Jones has said has spoken up about it on one of my videos. You guys can go check it out. But uh, I'm I'm interested in, in the learning if Ishe Smith is willing to talk about it. I'm interested in details. I'm interested in the learning what's going on so we can get the uh, the fight fans um, what the hell is going on because if Floyd is not honoring his word, he's not honoring his word. And if it's, if it's, it, are the incentives performance based? I have no idea. Like they have an NBA contract. If you make an all star game, you get XYZ. If you make it to the NBA playoffs as a coach, you get XYZ. You get a, you understand? Or is it just a guarantee? I will say this Ishe Smith has been in the last two main events at, uh, at Sam's Town, if I'm not mistaken. And, um, you know, last fight was a crossroads fight for both of them, Harrison and Ishe Smith. And it was a split decision loss, so that means he's literally right there on the cusp. He can come back again and, and, and try it again. So he's right there on the cusp. Uh, I'm real interested. I haven't spoken with Floyd about this. I'm interested to interview him um, uh, the next time I see him. I'm uncertain of when next time I will see him. But, but I think it's fair. I, I think these are fair questions that we should have. I'm not going to choose a side right now. Because I have no idea, but I'm just, I'm just, uh, if wherever there's smoke, there's fire. Okay. And I am too pragmatic not to believe that. All right. I'll, I'll go down the line. Tank Davis, who arguably some may say Badu Jack because he has a belt. Uh, that's my mechanic I'm getting my car fixed. Um, let me pause it real quick. Hopefully it's ready. So, this is, uh, so, um, that's my mechanic, I'm sorry. So, I just want to understand both sides. As I said, if Tank is upset, Latondra Jones, Ishe Smith, Jose Fast, Josue, I, I think that's his name. If you have four fighters who are upset, and these are a, a cross-section, right? Oh, you got a woman fighter, the best fight, arguably the best fighter in, in, in his camp. Uh, Ishe Smith, who's the journeyman, arguably the journeyman. I'm not being disrespectful to him. Uh, and you have an up-and-coming fighter in Jose Vasquez, and you have a woman fighter. You know, where would they smoke this fire? I'm interested to know what the hell is going on. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not going to speak for them because F Ford and I have a very fair relationship. So I'm going to do my journalistic responsibilities. Like I said, you guys are the ones that, 
that support and pay me by watching the, these damn commercials. So I am obligated to y'all. So don't think that I'm this guy that's like, oh, Floyd, almighty Floyd. No, no, I, I respect Floyd enough to give him my best in terms of being a journalist. And that's the same thing I that's the same aspect I, I have on in sports, right? I respect my opponent enough to prepare as best as I can possibly prepare. And that's the same thing I have as a journalist. So anyways, man, barbershop conversation. The mechanic my car is done. It's 445. I gotta get to the mechanic place and fit I gotta run down there in 15 minutes to get my car. So I have a car for this evening. Barbershop conversations. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.